What's up guys, Coach Alex and Coach Sue here with Physique Development, and today we are going to educate on the 45 degree hip extension with a glute bias. Before we get into the education, we would love for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel, like this video, and leave us a comment on how awesome we are. Let's go ahead and dig in. So, we're going to have Sue jump into the hip extension. The first thing that we're going to make sure is that her back of her ankle is pressed up against this pad. From there, we're going to look at the hip pad. What we want to make sure is that the hip pad is at the top of the quad. We do not want this at her hip crease. Reason being for this is that we want to allow for the pelvis to rotate, to allow for the glutes to go through a full range of motion. If the pad is too high and high up on that hip crease, what's going to happen is that the, the pelvis cannot rotate and we're going to be relying a lot on the lower back to do the moving as well as the hamstring, which is not a bad thing, but what we're trying to target here is the glutes. So now that we have the pad height correct, what we want to do is allow for Sue to fall forward while she's contracting her core and maintaining tension on her glutes. At this very moment, she has great tension on the glutes and how she's going to initiate out of the bottom is she's going to contract her core, keep a, a neutral spine and her chin gently tucked. She's going to drive her quads into the pad and as she's contracting the glute, she's going to think, I wanna get the top of my glute to the bottom of my glute and create immense tension. The body weight in this exercise is going to be heavy. Don't get discouraged if you cannot add load. Now, if you are wanting to add load, this is what we recommend. When we are adding weight, what we want to do is actually hold the plate or the dumbbell close to our chest. Best positioning is gonna be overhead. I do realize that as the weight gets heavier and heavier, 45 pound plates, 60 pound dumbbells, whatever it is, it's gonna be a little challenging to hold the plate or the weight in this position. But as long as we can keep it as far away from the working joint, that's going to be the best position for us. Because if you're holding the weight towards your, your waist here, the distance from the working joint is not going to be great, thus the application of load is not going to be useful, or as useful, I should say. So the more distance that we can create from the working joint to the weight that is added, the better off we are, and the more challenging it is going to be. A common thing that our clients run into is that the 45 degree hip extension is just too big for them. And it sits too high on their hip and they're not able to bring it down any lower. So a simple fix for this is going to be elevating the feet. And how we do that is we'll put 45 pound plates under the feet and we'll show you guys that right now. Now that Sue's feet are elevated, you can see now that the pad is at that top of her quad and the pelvis is able to rotate more than it was when it was too tall. Thank you guys so much for watching. We would love if you could go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and leave below any comments so we can get back to them, continue to educate you guys. And remember with PD, we're here to train, educate, and empower.